What's up guys, it's your boy Steven here, coming at you with another Minecraft video. And in, today, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the stuff that comes in with the new 13.0 update. It has been officially declared that the 13.0 update is the Redstone update, because it brings a lot of stuff that involves um, Redstone. And what you guys have all been waiting for placing down redstone so um yeah let's get into this video um first here are, um the redstone up the the redstone update brings us new doors as you can see we have the all these doors except as you can see, all these doors can be opened with a pressure plate, and then you walk through, and then it just closes by itself. And it can also be opened with a lever, and with a lever, it stays like that because um, the, le the lever, unless you like tap it again, then it'll close back, but yeah, let's just leave it um, closed, 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 there you go. And then a button. So those are some ways that you can open doors. And with the lever, you can also open up gates. And it's not working. Oh, there you go. It's a little laggy. And there, here we have a daylight sensor. When it's day, it lights up blue. And when it's night, it just it lights up um normal like it lights up yellowish and if you don't know a daylight sensor is kind of like a uh, a it's like a solar powered source so if you put redstone like next to it it'll um it'll light up just like that but yeah um and a redstone torch as well if you put redstone next to it it'll light up there you go. So yeah. And um basically if you don't if you don't have too much experience with redstone and um redstone is pretty much like electricity. So you can place it down and that's kind of like a wire. And the um torches levers are like I guess you plugging in the wire into the outlet and it just puts electricity through the whole thing and redstone triggers TNT and um, trap chests and all kinds of stuff but yeah that's uh, that's pretty much what like redstone acts as and also the update brings us trip wires which are one of my favorite because with trip wires um if you walk through um, it can, like, activate a trap, but, uh, to make a tripwire, you need one iron ingot, a stick, and a, um, wood block, and basically, to connect them, you just put string in the middle, so you tap it, like that, and, oh, wait, actually, I need to make it farther apart for it to work. Because string, this is what string looks like when you just place it all over the ground. And in midair as well. So you connect that to, oh, I need to break this redstone. Alright, you connect that. It's a little laggy, there you go. You connect that and then you put string in the middle and it just connects, it makes that click. And when you step by, it'll make a little click. And you could use that to make traps, pretty much. And it also lights up um, redstone when it's activated. And that's how the traps work. Also, now why is my bow going away? You know, I could just break that one. But um, in the new update, they increased the speed of boats. So now I know we've been like... 
it, they've been going really slow, but now they go, like, way faster. Like, yes, like, fast. So I'm really happy about that. And how do I get out? Eh. Leap boat, there you go. So I'm really happy about that, that they've increased the speed of boats. And then, as you can see here, we have um, a lever can also, like, this wooden trap door. You can tap it, and then it'll open and close. But with iron, of course, you cannot. But you can activate these trap doors with buttons, which are these over here. At the bottom, there's a stone button and then a wood button. You get it, um, and you could just like tap the lever and it'll open. And it's so laggy. There you go. And then it closes. And then here, um, we have the our rails. We have our activation rail, our detector rail, which detects your minecart, and it could um. I'll show you what that does after it detects your minecart. You can use that to make traps. And then your powered rail and then your lame old um, regular rail that goes slowish. Opens up doors, doors. And they've brought in a new mob. Bunnies. They are attracted to carrots. They love carrots. We can let them out. And they'll just follow me because they love carrots. So cute. Whoops. And as you can see, after you kill the rabbit, it can either give you um raw, like, um, I chose it over here. So it, it gives you, it gives you raw rabbit. And then it could also give you a rabbit foot. And and then also a rabbit hide. Uh, where is it at? Oh, up here. Rabbit hide, which is right there on the floor. Raw rabbit. And you could cook these raw rabbits and eat them and stuff. But yeah. Um, for the newbies out there, if you didn't know, you cannot play. Oh, um, no block. If you you cannot place redstone on glass at all. See, I'm just tapping and it doesn't come up. And um, this daylight sensor can actually, it gives power. So it can light up a TNT or it could also. Play a note on the note block. You could tap it in a place in note, but also when you just like place it down, it sometimes plays a note. Sometimes it just it just doesn't cooperate. But um, yeah. And then here we have a lever that's like that. Um, when you turn it on, it'll turn on these redstone lamps. Spark! Come on! Come on! There you go, and it lights it up. And then when you press the lever again, bam, it'll turn it off in a couple seconds. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. But since it's night out, so I'm just going to turn that off real quick. And okay, let me see something. Also, um, if you didn't know that before, water um, just breaks everything that is redstone. So all this redstone is gone now. But yeah, the good thing is you can still pick it up. Like so. And I have some demonstrations of what um, pressure plates and levers can do. Which is pretty fun. And this can help you like do traps and trick people and stuff like that. It's electricity and it just ignites TNT. It just glitched. Yeah, there you go. Let me. Oh, I'm a cheap person. Let me get my redstone. And 
here, the same thing with pressure plates. You just stand on it. Bam. And it blows it all up. And here we have a, um, now let me put a torch down just in case you really can't see much. Here we have a trapped chest. And, um, so what a trapped chest does, basically, um, I'm going to show you the difference between a regular chest and a trapped chest. That's pretty fun. Um, the trap, this, the trap chest is this one. And the regular chest is this one. So the regular chest has no red circle around the um the hatch and the trap chest does. So if um, I'm gonna just pause a little bit so you can um see the difference. So yeah, that's pretty much the difference. And trap chests are pretty much used to um people use them to make traps as well and activate stuff. So look, if I um I made a little trap back here just in case. Uh like like if you open up this trap chest, it it sends like electricity out and and, it, and like all this redstone is ignited and it like goes all the way down to this TNT. So if someone is greedy and and doesn't doesn't look carefully to look at um to look at the red ring around the hatch and they just want to open chests and like just take all your stuff. Next time, you'll have a little surprise for that. Okay, so when I open this, it'll ignite that TNT. Hopefully. So I'm going to switch over to uh, survival. And let's see what happens. Ready? Oh, ignited and kaboom. Yeah, that was pretty fun. So that is what happens. And, um, oh, I spawned back over here. So, yeah, you're going to have to watch out for those. And there is a big hole here because I was testing out some traps and stuff. Oh, uh, some string. Now, um, this is a minecart and rails on cobblestone, you um, and then there's TNT under. Why? Well, if I ride this minecart there, he, up here, here, let me just get some dirt so you guys can see this. Up here, here is a, um, detector. It detects your minecart going over. So let's say if I um if I like push the minecart and uh there's like TNT under this detector, it'll just like everything will just blow up. So if um you wanna make a trap, you just put one detector and be and like when they're riding the minecart, like a roller coaster, and it's like they see the detector but it's too late for them to hop out. They just pretty much die and everything goes kaboom. So basically how it works, the mine car goes over it, um, it lights up the TNT under, and boom, 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 boom. But since mine carts go pretty fast, you're going to want to put like a strip of it, because by the time it ignites the TNT, as you know, it takes time. Uh, by the time, um, if you just put one TNT, they'll be gone by the time it ignites, so you want to put a nice strip. I'm sacrificing my life for you guys. And I blew up. So you can see it is all gone over there. So that's another thing that you can test. Wait, no, no, I was looking the wrong way. Okay, uh, it was over there. There you go. There's a whole strip of TNT and it's all gone. Look at that beauty. Yes. So, um, next thing in my video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a trap house. No, no, whoa, 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 let me take that back. Um, not a trap house, but, like, 
here I'm going. I have a uh, regular house, but what you don't know is that there's TNT under and redstone. So I'm gonna switch over to creative and show you guys how to use trip wire to ignite uh, TNT. So for those greedy players out there, um, they come in. They're like, "Ooh, diamond blocks, a chest, whoa!" And they're they're gonna wanna like move, like uh, go up to like tap it and get stuff. So what you can do to trick them is you get a little trip wire, trip wire hook, put one there, put one there, and you get string. And you just Tap the wait no, no no tap the ground and then it it'll make a little click when it's done. Oh crap. And um yeah, as you see the redstone ignited. So when you walk over it, it'll ignite this redstone and that redstone is connected to this is a very good TNT. But I have to um I have to Hide my tracks. I have to finish this up. So you put redstone there. Finish filling this hole up. You just dig a hole under the whole house. And um, connect it like so. And then you can um, want to cover your tracks a little. So if they decide to like go around the house and inspect. You'll just have this here. Yeah, just like that. And so they're walking through here. They'll walk in through there. And when they walk, they'll activate the tripwire, which ignites this redstone. And then kaboom. So uh, once again, I will sacrifice my life to show you guys how this happens. Alright, la 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 la. I like diamonds. Open up this. Oh, crap, what does, what the, oh, but there's diamonds. Oh, let me, oh. Kaboom. Oh, yeah, I wasn't creative. But pretty much trip wires, all that, and pressure plates, that works if any living thing goes over it. So let's say if a pig um goes over a trip wire, it can activate it as well, and it'll, like, just go kaboom. And a person, in, uh, anything living can activate trip wires and pressure plates. So you guys can have fun with that. And, um... We also have snow. And you just tap the snow and you get some snowballs. I like throwing snowballs. If you guys did not know how to get snowballs, I'm just going to show you like that. But I'm in um, creative, so I actually have to get them. Um, snowballs, here we go. So you, uh, you just tap the air and then it'll just start flinging them and you just hold put you just put your finger down like that run away so that's pretty much it um see trip wire trip wire and you can have fun with redstone just like blow up all your friends before they even know what happened put some tnt there Let's see if i can blow up this place but um yeah, that's pretty much 13.0. I am going to spawn a couple. I'm going to have fun with my um, TNT and redstone. And I will blow up some squids. So you just put the squids down there. Wait, I don't even know why I made a cage, but um so yeah. Let's just watch the beauty happen. Ready? Set walk. Oops. Sorry little squids. Kaboom. But yeah guys, that's pretty much the redstone update 13.0. 
and now you guys know you guys are experts and you can just blow up your friends and everything and just have fun but don't have too much fun and um use tnt wisely and thank you guys for watching please like subscribe comment and peace fellow youtubers oh yeah